Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're new, uh, welcome. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, training, training that looks good, but it's... No, we will talk, yeah. Well, we'll or talk fake, about fake training. Fake training, yeah. I like the word fake training. Okay. It's one of the things I uh, start using. Fake training. Oh, pisses a lot of people off. I was going to say, I was going to say uh, training that looks good, but it's... It's really not good underneath it. Yeah. So, 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 what is fake training, right? You want to ask me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the video I sent Hans. There was a video. I don't know if I'm going to put that up. It's from someone else's channel. But long story short, these are like no. Really, don't put somebody no, else's not, video. There no, whatever. We're not going to put it up. But yeah, it was. So. They sell. I mean, they're on the internet. You, you see them. They're really nice facility. They sell like hundred thousand dollar protection dogs. And there's this dog that he slipped a sleeve. And the sleeve was on the ground, but the dog kept doing this. Oh. And uh, and uh, so I forwarded to Hans, and I, it looked sport, sporty to him. But well, he says, what was the I, dog? I, don't, I didn't see the video, so I cannot say anything. No, I did. It. I did show you the video. Well, but I didn't see it. Did I see it? Yeah, yeah. And you said, the dog, I know what the dog was thinking. And I said, how do you, how do you know what was the dog was thinking? And he said, because I know how I was trained. Right. Well, the point is... Yeah. When you train the dog, it's not about um, what the dog is doing. Yeah. And that's I mean, what that, I... That's a little part of yeah. it. But mainly what it is about is uh, what is he thinking when he's doing it. I was like, how do you know what the dog is thinking, Hans? <laughs> that's what you might be asking, too, if you're watching this. Well, there are several ways to tell, Okay, right? I'm being the cynic, right? That, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. You know. Yeah. People ask me, and sometimes I get flabbergasted by the question because I just look at it and I can tell, right? I know, but that's, so, but <laughs> that's why people are listening to this podcast <laughs> <is> to <laughs> learn from you. But how to put it in words, yeah. that's another issue, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you know, you one way you know what, what is a dog thinking if you know how he was trained, about how, mm -hmm. how the dog was trained. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> so let's say if I call the dog to come, yeah. And he comes and I give him cookie, but he's coming because he gets cookie. Yeah. Right? That's because how he was trained. Yeah. Right? Or if he comes and he comes to me, <clears throat> and when he does, I, I say good boy and pet him on the head. Well, then he's coming because I want him to come and he wants the pet. Yeah. You know, and, and the, the approval, verbal approval. Which is mind boggling these days. If somebody's listening, like, how is that possible, Hans? If you have to give it a treat, that's what they 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 react to that so much better. <laughs> I'm the cynic again. Well, well, it's okay. Yeah, you know, uh, you don't have to uh, ridicule people. No. <laughs> well, no, no, no just, I'm not saying you are. I mean, yeah, no, it's easy, you know, uh, to ridicule. But, but you but, even explain it to them, and they still fight you on it. Well, then you ridicule that's the, them. Then you ridicule. <laughs> It'd be nice, and then yeah, it's like what was the name of that movie, The Roadhouse or something? Roadhouse with, with Patrick Swayze. Yeah, with yeah, Patrick Swayze. He says, yeah. "Well, when somebody argues with you, you're nice, yeah. and then they argue with you again, you're still nice, you know. And then after that, you are not nice anymore, yeah. you know. Yeah. So basically, so that's what I go by, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I like good argument, you know. Somebody tells me, yeah. You know, and, and they make sense. Like I, I, I rent a few guys are cops, you know, and on f Facebook and uh, I don't want to say any names. I don't know if they would like it or not, mm -hmm. but they're yeah. good guys, right? Yeah. And uh, and I am just like, uh, you know, and they make me think, you know, mm -hmm. and I respect them because they're cops and they've worked the dogs 27 years or whatever. You know, that's, those people make it real for me, yeah. you know, so I'm listening to them, but... Often they're still wrong, right? I think, but at least I understand why they're wrong or why they do what they do and all that. Mm -hmm. For example, I was dealing, I was talking to this guy, and I gotta recontact him because I really would like to make a podcast with him. He was in uh, either Iraq or Afghanistan or something, mm -hmm. and we were talking about uh, automatic out, uh -huh. right? On on these military dogs who, who when the they kick doors uh -huh. and send the dog in the building. And he he said in very interesting things why they do what they do, right? 
Uh, and normally I wouldn't do it with personal protection dogs, <clears throat> yeah. but with these military dogs, I, I don't have much experience with military dogs, like, you know, kicking during Fallujah and yeah. stuff, right? But he says, you know, they send them in to flush, they send them all, offline to flush the terrorists or the bad guys out, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. And then when the dog gets, you know, and that was interesting, I said, okay. You know, so they don't, they, they don't send the dogs there just to find them, but also to flush them out. They see them running and all that, mm -hmm. right? And, um, and then he said, uh, then he said, and then when the dog bites mm -hmm. and, they, the, and, and he fights back, so they shoot the guy. And when the guy's dead, the dog automatically lets go and searches up, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, he was explaining to me how it works if the person has an explosive on mm -hmm. them and they don't want the dog to stay by him because somebody can blow mm -hmm. the explosive. So they were as quickly as possible to get. It was very interesting stuff. Yeah. And I, 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 I would really, I gotta re, I remember his name, so I'm gonna recontact him, and I would like to have him on podcast. He would be awesome, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. About that. Yeah. And uh, so, so, but that's not fake training, you know. That's a real training. Yeah. And uh, so, going back to what's fake training, right? The fake training is training which looks real, but it's not real. The dog thinks about something else in his mind and. Mm -hmm. It looks like, for example, and I'm not talking against sport. In sport, this fake training is not really fake. It's a real training for the sport, Yeah. right? So in sport, for example, a dog is uh, a biting in shooting type training, you know. Uh, they bite uh, mm -hmm. onto the sleeve, right? Yeah. And, it, and to the uh, uninitiated, uh, it looks like a... A real bite and all that, but really, what that dog is doing, he is uh, retrieving the toy on the helper's arm. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, and you can tell how when he drops the sleeve, the the helper, he drops the sleeve, and the dog carries it around, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when he carries it around, I know he's retrieving the sleeve, right? Because that's all it's about, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, like when we train dog. You know, the dog spits the sleeve out, right? Yeah. It's a difference. And uh, so when you take that type of sport dog, and f for sport, it's not fake, because that's how it should be, how mm -hmm. it needs to be. That's needs how to they be judge. Safe. That's how that's it's how done. They judge it. yep. That's how they get points, points yeah. for accuracy. Yeah. And it's for the safety of the helper, mm -hmm. so the dog doesn't get him somewhere in, you know, armpit or something, yeah. or chest, right? Yeah. I remember once I came to a, Children club, <laughs> and uh, the decoy. You know, he 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 was in nationals and stuff. Again, I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah. And uh, and he says, "Well, send the dog on me." I said, "You don't want to do this." Oh no, I'll catch him. I said, "You don't want to do this." And he says, "Well, you know," he, I said, "He's pretty civil." He says, "No, no, it's okay." So I send the dog, man, and and he had four hands to to, to catch the dog on a sleeve because that dog wanna get him anywhere but yeah. on the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because that dog was real, but real for different scenario, right? Sure. Like for yeah. real protection. Yeah. So, so you don't want to take a sport dog which looks really good and then send him on a guy on a street, yeah, uh, who doesn't have a sleeve because the dog was like, huh, what the heck? Yeah. Right. So, so, so for um, real protection, the. Uh, the sport training is fake, mm -hmm. right? Right, and and mm -hmm. that applies, you know, because because it, the dog does things which look like something, but it's really something else. Yeah. And you gotta worry about or understand it through what's in the dog's head. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Is is it is in his head to to bite the bad guy, or is in his head to to bite the sleeve, right? Yeah. So that's a that's a pretty blatant ex example of uh, yeah. of what I call fake training, right? I mean, yeah. again, it's fake only if you apply one purpose to different purpose. Yeah. Right. So just because it looks like protection doesn't mean it's protection. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you can do it same thing with obedience, with come. Yeah. You know, personally, <clears throat> when I call the dog come, I want to come because I have certain relationship with the dog. Yeah. I'm in leadership position. 
I'm bonded with the dog. Yeah. Dog is used to, and this is what people have biggest problem with. Dog is used to do things for me, even so he doesn't want to. Oh, they they, they flip out. Yeah. yeah, people flip out when I say that, right? Yeah, there was a comment on, under one of your videos yeah, that said, I know. "Well, I read yeah, it. yeah, your dog, yeah, you're just uh, I don't even something like that." It was a well, negative he comment. said the guy says you're more concerned about yeah uh, uh, your dog submitting to you than being happy. Yeah, if you're watching this, I hope you're listening to this. This person that made it because yeah. Hans is making a point here, right? Yeah, and 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 I I. You know, the, the, the point is, <clears throat> happy, I don't want just dog to be happy. I also want to respond. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and so, so when, when the dog is, uh, 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 let's say I call him calm, right? Mm -hmm. He can come and I can give him cookie yeah. or play toy with him and he's happy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But why did he come to me? What was on his the mind when he came yeah. to me? Right? He came to me for cookie. Yeah. So he's coming for cookie. He's not coming to me. Yeah. That's fake training yeah. as far as my nomenclature and definitions goes. Yeah. Right? So so what is not fake training? Fake training is, as I already said, the dog is uh, for come command, right? Mm -hmm. The dog is coming to me because through all his life, I taught him, I'm in leadership position, we are a team, you do what I say, and if you do it, I reward you with pet and, I mean, with praise verbally first mm -hmm. and then pet on the head in that order, mm -hmm. which is a very powerful thing, which some people don't understand, yeah, that's right? It's a very yeah. powerful thing because yeah. it induces oxytocin, you know, which induces dopamine and whatever other happy hormones, yeah. and dogs get addicted to it. Yeah. So, so the dog wants to see me happy mm -hmm. and make me happy yeah. by coming. And when I'm happy, I pet him. Yeah. And that's why that's the relationship we have with the dog. It's about us. Yeah. It's not about cookie. Yeah. Because if you reward the dog with cookie, he doesn't care about you. You're just a pest dispenser. Yeah. And sooner or later, because there's no way you can give him cookie all the time. It's just not possible. You have well, uh, the argument is that devil's advocate, right? I am playing against myself right now. Yeah. Uh, is that you condition the dog. Yeah. So he keeps coming yeah. mm -hmm. and, and, and he anticipates cookie. Yeah. In that phase. Right? Yeah. And, and so he comes mm -hmm. even if you don't have cookie because he's conditioned to come. Yeah. Right? But the conditioning will extinct. So you got to reconditioning it. Right? Mm -hmm. And then the dog become wise. And he says, all right, I don't smell no cookie. Yeah. You know, so I'm not coming. Yeah. Another thing is what happens is the dog, if you if you rewarding the dog with cookie or toy, it looks wonderful if the environment is destruction, um, de destruction yeah. sterile. There's no destruction. Yeah. There's no cats or rabbits or yeah. whatever. And, and and so, but if there is a cat, then your cookie or toy competes with the running cat. The level of... So the dog will say, okay, cookie prize. or cat. Yeah. Guess who is going to win? Yeah, cat. Right? Yeah. But because I taught the dog through all his life, you got to do what I say, no matter what, regardless if you like to do it or not. Yeah. Especially if you don't want to do it, you got to do what I say. Yeah. Right, and it may go um, against beliefs of woke people. Yeah, but I'm not training for ideology. I'm training for reality. Yeah, and 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 I want a reliability of the dog. Yeah, so I want a real training. Why are you coming? Because I said so. And when you come, you make me happy. Yeah, and I praise you. Yeah, it's vocal first, and then pet on the head. And, and 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 we have that understanding in the relationship yeah. and that never goes away. Yeah. You know, and it's it, it starts with bonding. Yeah. You know. So it goes back. Goes yeah. And back I'm not saying you don't need to use food, you know, even so I basically am kind of against it. But you know, now and then dog comes and give him cookie, fine. But don't base your training on it. Yeah, it's not a teaching tool. Yeah, it's not a teaching tool. Yeah. Right. Now once you achieve you know, so 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 what is fake? Fake dog is coming for cookie. 
not fake, dog is coming because I said so. Yeah. That's why I said that. I want him to come to me. Yeah. I don't want him to come to cooking. For me, yeah. For me. Yeah. Right? And and so so and, and, and any uh any uh uh obedience or you know training mm. can be based on 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 this type of thinking. Yeah. Right? Is it real or is it fake? Does it only look like it or yeah. it is why the dog really is doing it? Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, even if you train with cookies or, or, or food, mm -hmm. uh, when you tell the dog to come, what do you want him to do? You want him to come to yeah. you. Yeah. Not to a cookie. Yeah. And sooner or later, there's going to be, as you said, the, you know, if, it, if the environment is right, it might work, but sooner or later, there's going to be situations when the environment is not right. Well, that's what we train for. Yeah. We train for when the environment yeah. is not right. Yeah. So That's why I always say we train for things even though the dog doesn't want to do it. Yeah. And the reason why he does it is to please me. And when he pleases me, then I please the dog by a reward verbal and, and yeah. pet. And people will say, well, what's the difference between pet and verbal praising good boy and giving him cookie? What's the difference? Well, the difference is, why is, what's he thinking, the dog? He's, he's coming for a cookie. Yeah. No, I don't want him to come for a cookie. I want him to come for me. Yeah. And people say, well, I don't care what, yeah. why he comes as long as he comes. Yeah. And I say, yeah, but he's not going to come in if there is a cat and you yeah. compete with the cat. Yeah, yeah. Very few. Yeah. You know, and I have that example, which I mentioned in some other video. Oh, here. Of Sarko, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, you mentioned it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can say it again. Well, you can say it in a nutshell between the two dogs and what was the difference. Yeah, I had I had yeah. Buddy, which was number 17 dog in the world at his You days. didn't raise the... Yeah. I didn't train yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. And he was trained for treats and toys, you know, competition. Mm -hmm. And he was great at it. And he was great at that, yeah. right? And I went hiking with him and we run into Javelinas mm -hmm. and Mama and the baby Javelina run away and Papa Javelina faked injury to lure yeah. Buddy towards him, and Buddy sure enough got lured, and he started running towards the male javelina, yeah. and I called him back, and he looked over his shoulder, stopped for a second, and then he says, eh, and flipped me a finger, yeah. and went after the javelina, bit it on the back of the neck, mm -hmm. and javelina ran over the washes, yeah. and Buddy was flailing on his back yeah. into blue yonder, you know, like a fifty thousand dollar dog, thirty, or thirty, oh. whatever. Maybe today, today. <laughs> Maybe back then it was thirty. Yeah, yeah. And 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 so I sit on the rock, and I knew only hope is that I'm gonna sit here and he's gonna come back because, yeah. you know, I cannot look for dog in yeah. millions of square mile or or, or yeah. acres rather. Yeah. You know, of the desert is just just beyond. Yeah. Yeah. You know. He just hoped the dog, and dog came, he came back, you know. A few hours two later. Two hours later, I was <laughs> bulging on top of the head, and his tongue hanging out. Like, wow, dad, that was... And yeah. what are you supposed to do, right? Yeah, Tell well, that. I praised him, I said, good boy. You know? Yeah, which is really important, right? Right, yeah. you know, yeah, because, yeah. you know, he came eventually. Yeah, yeah. Right, so you, you, I praised yeah. him, and, and he, you know, yeah. I love the dog. It was yeah. one of the yeah. best dogs I ever had, if yeah. not the best dog. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, and then and then 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 I had my my Sarko dog, I still have him. And we were hiking up in Big Bug Mesa, and it was pretty wet year, so it was tall grass. And as we hike up the trail, uh, four deer pop up from the tall grass, and Sarko just instinctually just went after them, yeah. chasing reflex. Yeah. And. Uh, I called him, you know, I said, Sarko, fui, come here. Right? Yeah. And Sarko just made this graceful U turn and come back to me and yeah. sat in front of me and, yeah. and I pet him on the head and I said, Good boy. Yeah. You know, yeah. And as I said, I was surprised by myself. <laughs> but you raised Sarko. <laughs> I raised so him, yeah, most of it. You yeah. know, anyway, there was some, or, somebody yeah. else started him and. But he was very young, yeah. Yeah, but. So, uh, so the relationship. Yeah. The yeah, training, the, I built the relationship. Yeah. I raised him for a pup. I had him yeah. from day one, yeah. and then somebody else got him, and then I got him back. Yeah. You yeah. Know, and, uh, Nobody talks about this. Like you watch. I'm, I mean. There was that video of that woman. She Remember? He said he will find it. 
you know, of that woman whose dog ran after deer and she called it and he came back. Yeah. Remember that video? Yeah, she sent me the video. I you still I'd... have it? Well, if you can superimpose it on this. That would I'll be try. Great. I'll try to see if uh, she did send it to me. I'll go back to my messages. But um, yeah, that was exactly what happened to me, except I didn't have it on video. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think it was deer or something. Yeah, it was deer. Yeah. Yeah, and the dog yeah. runter, is she called yeah. dog, may you turn yeah, you come turn. back. Yeah. 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 But I'm just saying, is there's no one uh, talking about this on YouTube. It's the, the, and somebody actually did send it to me that there, there was a, and this was from like a VHS tape, like I think it was transferred and it's on YouTube. It's buried in the archive somewhere. And she mm -hmm. was teaching dogs. It was a female trainer, older female right. trainer right. With, with no cookies, no, and it's there, but it's, it's definitely not the norm. It's like it's so buried in. If, no, if everybody is using cookies and all yeah. that's pathetic. That's fake training, man. Yeah, you know, and it's not just for calm. It's for sit down, stay. Everything. It's the pouch. Everything. Is always there. Everything. Everything. Yeah, the pouch is always there. You know, just uh, if you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. I'm so amazed, actually, that how uh, obscure is what I'm saying here. Yeah, it is. You know, yeah. it's just like, I mean, when I was a kid, like a I always heard what people ask you, yeah. well, why is the dog doing it? Well, because he loves me. And people yeah. say, oh, yeah, but that's not how it works. Yeah, it is exactly how it works. Yeah. It's really not rocket science. It is a being, and, and there's a relationship between you and the dog, period. Yeah. That's why I'm dog, right? I don't have a dog to sit in the kennel. Yeah. You know, and then take him out and compete and put him back in the kennel. Yeah. You know, I'm living alone. Yeah. And uh, I want my dogs to be with me. They're my family, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was living under a tree in Wyoming in the 80s in winter. They were there by you. They were my family. I had no friends. Yeah. I mean, I knew people. Yeah. The acquaintances yeah. were friendly with me and yeah. all that. But I was alone. All I had was the dogs. And you were their leader and yeah. And, and uh Yeah. We were sleeping under this giant Douglas fur and it was snow was falling horizontally and I was sleeping under it. Yeah. I roast some meat on a fire and split it between the dogs and me. Yeah. If I told Hans if uh if it was uh like Discovery Channel was around, then <laughs> somebody would have heard this guy you know, up in the woods sleeping. He would have had his own show. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, it would be would more interesting in the naked, um, what yeah. do they call it? Naked, naked and, and afraid. And afraid. Yeah, it's like stupid stuff. Well, that's so real, man. Yeah. And you know what? All these people on the show, they're like really tough guys, right? Tattoos mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. muscles and exercise and all that. Oh, I can do it. Or, they you know, and then they go out there and they cry, you know? Oh, it's kind of good that put them yeah. in the spot. Yeah. See, they had a fake training too. Yeah, yeah, in their own. Yeah, it looks good, but it's in reality. Yeah, it's not. yeah. You know. Um, yeah. All right. Well, this was a good. I'm sure there's there's always more to it, and we inter, all the episodes kind yeah. of intertwine. Well, I can jibber jabber for yeah. much longer, but yeah, well, it's the essence is there basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, in other words, let me conclude this. When you train the dog, train, make the, it, it, it may be more difficult, but mm -hmm. teach the dog to do it as a part of the team. Mm -hmm. it, make him work for you and with you. Make him come because he wants to come to you and not to some cookie. Yeah. Right. Make him to attack a person and not to sleeve. Yeah. Now, if you do sport, you got to do sleeve, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, but but when you train for real, you know, make yeah. it real. Train like you fight and fight as you uh, train. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and so, so, and it may be a little more difficult and the performance may be a little more uh, muddled, yeah. right? But the dog gets it. But but the but, but the importance is I don't care if the dog's tail is straight when he comes to me and sits in front of me looking pretty. I want him to come. Yeah. There's a deer running or That's Avolina. It. Yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying for reliability, not for uh, precision. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny how people say, well, we'll, uh, well, I'll just phase out. You know, I phase out the food. I'm like, 
Well, if you're phasing it out, then well, it's the same why concept. do we even start, right? Yeah, if it's so good, why? Why? That's my point. Is why would you face something out that is so good? If it's so good, why are you phasing it out? Yeah. I'm not going to phase out something that's good. Then why? Yeah. It's the stupidest. And thing if to it's do. not good because you got, uh, and that's why I got to phase it out. Why to even start? Yeah, you know, no matter how you look at it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, either way, look at it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Think about that. So, thank you, Hans. All right, appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe, share. Uh, there's a little button down there. You can subscribe. Uh, please visit Alpine Canine Real, and that's where Hans has educational videos, the personal protection series, uh, how to teach puppy. I mean, how to feed puppies raw. The, the obedience video, which has always been popular. Uh, the Alpine Canine War. Yep, Alpine Canine War, Art of War. What is that about? Or they changed it. It's it's to help once once the dog. You know, gets the. I mean, it's on the bite. Like, don't just stand there. Like, it's <laughs> like a vegetarian sausage, <laughs> like, a, like a pumpkin. Like, yeah. help, help the dog. You're part of the team. That's yeah. The whole, there is a way. Yeah. I I used to do judo for eight yeah, years and to, uh, martial arts. Yeah, to help that. help your dog. And I use two moves from the martial arts there to show you yeah. how to. Yeah. You know how to help the dog. It's yeah. not pretty trivial. Anybody can do it, but you need to practice. Yeah, practice bit. it. So he shows it in the in the video. Um, also, if you're looking for a puppy. Or are you looking for a trained dog? Hans is uh, your man. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, the old style Czech dogs. The old style Czech dogs from the original. How do you say it in Czech? The the border patrol. It's pohraniční stráže. That's it. It's a Czech border patrol. You know, type dogs. You type know? dogs. Yeah. yeah. There's the, there's a distinct difference between them as as the years went by. I can see like oh, there's there is a difference. There's a difference, uh, looks-wise, temperament-wise, uh, everything. You know, they're just solid dogs. Health-wise, too, they're so they're solid. Yeah, I used to, Debbie always, my girlfriend used to say, "Oh, this is such an amazing puppy. This is such a great dog. I never seen one like that." And then she says, "Next dog. Oh, this one is also so good." <laughs> and then she says, and third time she says, "Oh, they're also this one is also. I guess they're all good." <laughs> you know, the ones from us. Yeah, from you, yeah. From the Czech <laughs> Republic. But. Yeah. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Ahoy.